Alright, today I'm going to kind of concentrate on calls for a short time. Sometimes the calls are a pain in the tush. What I'm using here is a, um, a wire clay tool. I'm referring to this diagram on the anatomy of dogs. And this happens to be the hind leg here. Here's the front. And then I take the back, that's also the front leg here. Comes down, shoots about 90 degrees, shoots down also, and comes around. I'm not sure if I'm going to add the pads to it yet. my collection of sculptures and I came across this piece here. I love the way they did the lion here. Very nice, realistic. I'm referring to the male lion. And I'm going to use this study, oh this piece as my study, for my larger piece. That is a lion mount sculpture that goes with this piece here. Bone structure on this here, the cheekbones, and the overall look. Very nice. For obvious reasons, I can't really copy this here, but it'll kind of guide me as to what direction I should be going. My line would have more of an open mouth and more of a uh, wrinkles around this area above the nose between the eyes because the line would be basically angry fighting off the dogs. Anyhow, that's that. I will not start on the line probably till July, August. For now, I'm following this diagram here. After this year, I'll refer to the actual images of the uh, ridge back and see how their pulse differ from that diagram. It's hard to tell in this one here because the pulse are sunk into the grass. But, we'll see. I don't know how obvious the big claw is on the Rhodesian, so I'll take a look at that later also. And I kind of created the toenails using this wire tool here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Oh, yes, you could. And what I've done is basically uh, left it my piece. And I kind of stuck it. Here we go. And I'll do it on this side here since well. Let's see, I'm looking. Let me adjust the camera so you guys can see this here. I'm taking the piece and I'm starting from the bottom. And I'm moving my way up. It kind of forms a nail. Just hit a miss. I'm starting to side here since I haven't really done anything over here. Start from the bottom, move my way up, and do the 
several times until you get what you like. And this wire too is kind of formed like a, uh, a teardrop, water drop. I'll use it this way here. It kind of looks like the actual nail here, but you don't actually want to sink in and pull back because you won't get the true look of the nail. So you kind of start from the bottom and gradually push in and kind of get the shape you want. Do this in here. Now the nails will be done several times back and forth. They can get destroyed many times and I just kind of rework them every time I come around and revisit that area. Get you guys back over there. But it's just, that's just a starting point for me. Since after this stage when I somewhat rough it out, I would go ahead and apply a terpenoid. It's a solvent to kind of melt, blend things together here and work the clay and get the whole body uniform. And from that point, if I'm happy with the piece, I'll start applying my detail with this dental tool here. I like to take a lot of measurements to make sure my sides are symmetri symmetrical. A little too long. Use your fingers to get an idea of feel for what is off. It's, it feels like it's too bulky, so I gotta turn it down. Hmm. It's kind of funny looking at my cam recorder right now. I have the little LCD window inverted so I'm working on my the right pole here but looking up there it looks like I'm working on the left pole. The problem with these wire tools, since this clay is so hard, if I apply too much pressure, it'll create too much friction, and I'll end up snapping this tool here, which I've done many times. So I'm trying to be somewhat gentle with the tool right now. Looks like we have a bad angle there. Let me lower this here, see if you guys could 